It's going on 25 years next year that the Tamaqua Historical Society acquired these properties at 114 and 118 West Broad. Uh, we started with no money, no funding, and we took on a big challenge of, of taking on uh, ownership and management of those two, two large commercial properties on West Broad Street. And uh, over the years, uh, we did our best to set up exhibits and displays on local history in there, but we always had a, a vision down the road that at some point down the road when we could see ourselves uh, being able to afford it financially and, uh, and organizationally, we would like to do major renovations to really make it a first class museum, something that we could all be proud of. Uh, the last time the building had been renovated was 1960. Uh, the museum is located in, in the 118 portion of the building, which was built in 1905 as the first National Bank of Tamaqua. So it's a great old bank structure, very large uh, uh, building, 25-foot uh, like vaulted-type ceilings, which were very typical of the period. Uh, very grand interior uh, meant to impress people as they came into the first National Bank. So with 25-foot high ceilings, three different kinds of marble on the floors and on the walls, a huge massive vault sitting in the in the center of the building it's an impressive building but it's also a lot to maintain and take care of and also to renovate such a such a large structure so we've been in there uh, in 1988 uh, Tamaqua Historical Society acquired the property that was after about a two-year period of uh, acquisition uh, uh, and we were fortunate to receive the building as a donation through the generosity of the former Miners National Bank of Pottsville. We worked with their board of directors and uh, the reason the bank had been vacant two years prior was that the bank had built a new structure on East Broad Street directly across from the post office which is still occupied today. So the building sat empty for about two years before we took it on in 1988 so next year in 2013 we'll be in there 25 years. So the last few years have been spent uh, strategizing how we might be able to put together a financial plan to build a pot of money that we could do major renovations to that museum and really really bring it back into a grand state and something that we could all be proud of. It, uh, since 1960 when the building was last renovated when it was still a bank uh, it's you know it's a long time it's going on 50 years now since it's been renovated we had to re recover from a lot of damage that we inherited. The heat had been shut off, pipes had burst, there was a lot of water damage, there was a lot of roof damage. We've recovered from that over the years. Up until now, we have invested on our own about uh, close to $300,000 in the last 25 years, but it was in small increments, 10,000 here, 20,000 here, to do repairs and, and things like that and just to keep it up and running. So the last th three years, I would say, though, we have been strategizing how to build this pot of money and move forward with major renovations. So what we've done was we've, uh, we've been pursuing several different grant sources, and we've also been raising funds on our own, private dollars, that we can use as the match towards these grants. So currently, we have a plan put together, and we're very excited because we're getting ready to actually move forward with our renovations. Actually, the plans are well along the way. Mark Conville is our architect, and he's been he working on the plans, the architectural plans for the interior renovations since the beginning of 2012. And uh, so a lot has already been designed and uh, figured out how we're going to do handle certain issues. Um, and uh, um, basically our pot of funding that we put together includes a uh, hundred or more thousand dollars in private dollars that it's going to come from the Tamaqua Historical Society. We have a generous matching, uh, not a matching grant, but we have a generous grant of $150,000 coming from the uh, J.E. Morgan Foundation here in Tamaqua area. And we have a matching state grant uh, called an RACP grant, which was secured through the generosity and the hard work of our local state senator, David Argel. So between those three ma uh, grants, uh, w the Historical Society funds and the Morgan funds will match the dollars from the state RACP grant and provide us with somewhere in the neighborhood of a half a million dollars to renovate the in just the interior of the museum portion of those buildings. So um, the renovation plans will include uh, 
removing the counter, the old bank counter, which kind of splits the, the whole floor plan on the, on the first level. We're going to take out that permanent divider and open it up to a more open floor plan, which we think will be more uh, inviting and easier to, to display artifacts. Uh, we are going to renovate all new electrical throughout the building, all new plumbing and heating, including air conditioning. We're putting in all new public restrooms. Everything will be made, the entire building will be made handicapped accessible. A new rear entrance will be uh, uh, constructed entering the building from the rear and also an emergency exit. Uh, we're going to be looking at putting in a kitchen facility, uh, some new display spaces on the first floor where we have currently some old meeting rooms in the back of the vault area. We're going to keep the original bank vault. From the front of the bank vault to the rear of the building, uh, the building is actually wider at that point. So in that large, wider addition portion of the building that's also deep, we're going to actually construct a whole second floor inside the museum. As I mentioned earlier, the floor or the ceilings are like 25 feet high, so there's ample room for doing that. So we're going to construct this second floor plan with a railing that overlooks the first floor of the open museum that you'll be able to look down on the exhibits. But the main purpose of doing that is that it gives us a lot of added floor space for additional exhibits, special events, maybe fundraising, uh, you know, uh, a mixer, uh, mixer fundraisers or cocktail parties to raise funds for the museum, entertainment, things like that. We can hold little events in the museum. We can have special exhibits on that sec uh, second floor where we would have maybe changing exhibits with uh, people bringing in their own private collections and, and loaning us things for special exhibits and so forth. Um, we're going to do our best to preserve all of the architectural details inside the museum as best we can. There's a lot of beautiful plaster and ornate carvings. Uh, and uh, so our intent is to preserve as much of the detail and the original materials as we can inside, while at the same time renovating it, bringing it up to code, bringing it up to modern times, and most importantly, creating a space that will allow us to do a, create a beautiful museum for the greater Tamako area. Thank you.